All right, are you all ready? What's up, guys? Adam here. Welcome back to Season 6 of the Milan Career Mode in FIFA 21. After two Champions Leagues, here we are in Season 6. And I'm very excited about this season because we have ourselves some new kits that I actually have made and put into this Career Mode. So... Before we actually start, I took the liberty of selling on some players that we have signed throughout the seasons. I've got like most of the academy players into the side either sold on or trying to get them out for loan. Basically, like the core of the team that we have been using has stayed the same, but with some transfers that I've made that I think would work best for us. Now, it's obviously not about money because to have money, we absolutely have money in this. And especially with the departures of those players, we, we have like 504 million now to spend. But that's going to bring me to the players that I actually have sold on. It's none of the players that I know you guys are attached to some of the players. For those of you who are Milan fans, the players still in the team right now in real life doing well in this season. So none of those guys have gone just yet. But we're going to wait and see exactly what happens. As you can see, we've sold De Reuter, we've sold Borges. Ozan Kabak was a big one to sell 146.4 million. We made a lot of profit on him. I just find myself continuing to prefer Takehiro Tomiyasu over him. Tomiyasu, a guy we signed in the first season, Kabak. He came here, he won a couple of trophies, and now it's time for him to move on. He's joined Chelsea for 146 million. Another player is Diogo Dalo. I wasn't like bothered about negotiating for a better price. I just sold them for what they were asking for because we have like 500 million. Diogo Dalo has gone back to Manchester United, now 91 rated, and we sold them for 127 million. Now, I'm still looking to maybe sell on some players, and there, for those of you who haven't been seeing the kits that I've been making for the side, well, there they are. There is the new Gianluigi Donnarumma, who's going to be <laughs> most of the time in goal. Goalkeeper kit with the Scudetto patch. It's like a blacked out AC Milan logo as well with the two stars, because we have won ourselves a uh, 22 Scudettos, there's Stefano De Rosa, I'm just gonna go run down who's in the side, who's back in the side, Teo Hernandez is still here, obviously Scudetto patch, I enlarged it, we have the Milan logo once again with the two stars, now 27 years old, the only thing I couldn't really change was the shorts, I would have loved to have had black shorts, but as you can see the lettering is actually black and there's no way to change that as of yet or if there is a way to change it i just don't know how to do it but that's the reasoning i actually stayed with white shorts white socks and like the little square in the back that was used to encase the number and the name i just couldn't get it right so that's one of the reasons i actually decided to just full-on take it out let's actually show you how the home kit looks with one of the players as you can see erling holland in our new home kit as you can see i made some tweaks it's not like a full black collar it's still like a, a collar and if you come back around maybe i could have like designed it where the patch fit inside but i think this just really looks nice the back of the kit looks gorgeous as well there's the fade 2006 2007 kit with the gold trim as well i think it really looks nice with like the italian logo up there as well and the little ac milan uh, writing up there as well i think i did i think i did milan a solid here <laughs> giving them a very nice home kit and a, an away kit that i'm excited about a third kit with, which i'm gonna try to use in this episode before we actually take on lazio in the super coppa italiana let's take a look at the objectives and there are some new objectives and challenges for the season that may actually have an impact if we don't complete so here's how the invincibles is looking currently 13 games unbeaten 11 victories two draws we're trying to break the 58 games set by milan <laughs> gunning for gunner for lofgren still at 99 goals he can score his 100th goal of his career for milan and i don't know if that maybe makes him the youngest 100 goal scorer for a club i'm gonna take a look and see if maybe there's a record of that and donnarumma the milan legend 425 appearances trying to break paolo maldini's 902 for the club 
So, let's take a look at this season's objectives. And if we don't break them, maybe there could be a consequence. Maybe in each position we can sell on a player or something like that. And I've been noticing a lot in this in this career mode FIFA 21, there's not like players who get unsettled and actually want to leave, which I wish they could have that make it a little bit more realistic because, yeah, you never know. Sometimes some players don't want to stay. They want to go play for another club. But let's take a look at the first objective. It's called the goals. Break the all-time goal scoring record by one team in a single season this is with 20 teams now torino had 125 back when there was actually uh 21 teams in the league but with 20 teams the goal record is 118 goals set by milan in 1949 1950 that's one of them another is all of the goals break the single season Serie A goal scoring record 36 held by gonzalo higuain and chiro immobile so hopefully one of our players can actually do that we have like the skill set to actually actually do that which is great we have the players to do that which is fantastic but we're gonna wait and see if somebody can actually complete this challenge this objective and the final one is keeping it clean break the single season Serie A clean sheet record 21 held by Gianluigi Buffon in 2011-2012 and 2015-2016 to make this even tougher on ourselves I've gone ahead and disabled the trainings and the sharpness in this season now every player is gonna be at 50 sharpness to actually match what the other teams have because they can't train so it's never going to change it's always going to be a 50 sharpness and they're just going to get a boost based on their fitness their morale which honestly sharpness is great but i think it was just executed just a little bit poorly because the players just can go up by like plus six plus seven yeah makes sense sometimes they're on form but I think it just works better this way. Now, let's take a look at the team right now, how the first team lineup is shaping up. 4-2-3-1, still Holland, Auge, Lovgren, Pellegrini, Benacer, Tonali, Teo, Romagnoli, Tomiasu, Calabria, and Gijo in goal. Calabria has actually increased, which is great. On the bench, we have Nicolo Armini, and we also do have the returning Breno Concesiao. This guy, I keep saying, reminds me of a guy like Thiago Silva, and he's young, and we're going to try to turn him into maybe maybe the next Thiago Silva if we can. We still have Salamaka as he's come back from loan, which is great. He's growing. Daniel Maldini going to look to use him a lot more. Leao is the only like player from the beginning, which I'm really not too sure of. I know in real life he scored that fa fantastic goal, but this is the game and he just, I, I don't know, he just, he's been dropping off in games. I prefer I'll get to him. And that's one of the reasons that maybe he's content. He's not very, very happy. We have Kessi. And then we have Lorenzo Colombo who's now up to a 76. And then on the bench, we have all these players who I'm either looking to get out from like alone. Zaniolo, he started off being fantastic. And then, and before, I'm sorry, there's a lot to get through. I know there's a lot to get through. But once the season starts rolling, it's going to be great. We do have Juve. And Roma officially licensed their kits, their names, their likeness and everything. And it's the revival patch that I'm going to be putting in the description down below. Supercoppa coming up against Lazio. And if you guys are new here, you can see all the trophies and all the years that we've won them in the description down below. There's the away kit. I, I think I did a good job on the away kit. I'm really happy about that. But this is one that I absolutely loved making. And then like, I just want to wear it all the time. We have the Scudetto patch. We have the gold Milan patch on the shirt, on the shorts, and Lazio. Let's just go with their home kit. We're going to be wearing our alternate kit. Super Coppa time. Let's see if maybe sharpness had a big like effect on how good the players were playing. And maybe it's going to be a tough season this time out. Breno Concesiao, he spent some time at Fiorentina last season. so And he played like almost every single game for Fiorentina. So he's got himself Serie A experience. And we're going to look to see, man, all, all his stats just look fantastic. He looks like he has all the makings of like a world-class center back. Maybe there's going to be some movement throughout the seasons, guys. We can't like obviously keep the exact same team from the beginning all the way to the end. Salamakers, I actually forgot to change his number, so he has the number 34. I'm waiting to see like a nice close-up of the third kit in full detail with the stripes, the gold stripes. I think Donnarumma's uh, goalkeeper kit looks nice as well. They didn't show a close up of the whole, uh, our new third kit. Maybe you can see it from Holland here. Yes, you absolutely can. There's Erling Holland in our new third kit. Milan Lazio, Supercoppa. 
Let's see exactly how sharpness actually had an effect. They're going to be playing their overalls a little bit of a boost. We've got a new slider setup that I'm trying out, seeing how big of a difference this can actually make. And let's try to pick ourselves up another piece of silverware. Azteo, almost getting that one so wrong. And of course, my controls always need to be fixed every time I load this goddamn game. As you can see, Gigio's kit in full detail as well, if you'd like to see it. I went with the blocked out Milan because I think it just, as you can see, the crest, I think it fits the theme of the kit with the block numbering, the block lettering, the block everything. So as you can also see the little Italian patch and the ACM at the top, there's Davide Calabria in it. I'm going to pick somebody with a real face, maybe could use it as the thumbnail. There is the third kit in all its glory i think i think i did a good job i hope you guys really do like them zaracho tonali good strength by zaracho chiesa with an overhead kick conce Xiao just not marking him properly he played like the entire season of fiorentina last time he has all the stats like i said to be a superstar but Keza with a gorgeous finish Tonali struggling to get Zaracho off the ball not trying to cause a foul and that is a picture perfect overhead kick from Federico Chiesa what a goal that is to concede though <laughs> cannot be mad about that one one nil down on the Supercoppa get back boys Gaich Grujic Concesiao getting a block Donnarumma Forced into a big save, as Gijo always does. Benasser, Ivan Pellegrini, is going to continue his run if he can get to it. Good touch by Ivan Pellegrini. Tries to turn. Olaf, he gives, and he's going to continue going. Sandro's in the box. Milenkovic, going to be getting a block. And Milan with the corner. Couple of options in there. Erling Haaland, can he head it down? Milenkovic is going to get to it. Such a solid defender. Now at Lazio. He's been like doing the turn of the world. As Pellegrini is going to go. Look for... It's Rob holding. It's Rob holding. But keep putting the pressure. Make him make the mistake. And he absolutely does. Lovgren. Pellegrini. That's not Pellegrini. It's Benacer. Tonali. Auge. Auge looking for a strike outside the box. Trying to get inside. Dribble his way in. But Lazio... Giving us a game here, guys. With the block, Tonali. It's going to be the end of the first half. Down 1-0. Keza, like, like I said, cannot even be mad about that goal. An overhead kick, a bicycle kick, whatever you want to call it. 1-0 down. Calabria. Seems more open a little bit. Holland. Looks like he's just shrugged off that injury. Hauge. Holland. Lofgren inside the box. Olaf Lofgren! Goal number 100. And he's going to go ahead and pick up that ball. Maybe going to sign it at the end of the match. He scores number 100. He couldn't get it last season. And from the academy, just awfully like vintage Lofgren. Just putting in everything he sees. And Lofgren putting that one past Pacheco. With a good pass by Erling Haaland. It's 1-1. And then calls an offside. How was that a foul against Concesiao? Looked like he got the ball beautifully. Teo and Benacer. Pellegrini. Go Erling. Lofgren's gonna go instead. Olof. Find Alexis. Salamakers now. Trying to take a round. Good dribbling by Salamakers. Inside the box. Goes down. Referee says goal kick. No penalty. Tells him to get up. I feel like so many of these games have been going in the extra time, the Champions League final. I don't remember when. We also went into penalties at one point. Lofgren with his 100th goal. And Erling needs to maybe wake up just a little bit more. Romagnoli looking to break quickly there, but we just held on to that one for too long. Holland, Teo. Keep going, Erling. Tonali. Salamakers. Lofgren. Is he in behind? Yes, he is. Looking to send in. There's... Sandro going for a scorpion kick. Salamakers almost could have went down for a penalty. Pellegrini now. Ivan Pellegrini scores and then smashes into the side netting. Lazio dropping back way too much. Erling Haaland laying it off once again. Another assist for him, but like in the goals, he really has slowed down and finishes that one at the near post. Ivan Pellegrini hopefully on our way to another Supercoppa. 105th minute. Right on the end, it's 2-1. That's going to be a foul. 
Pellegrini. It's going to go out for a Lazio free kick. Okay, it's not going to be a corner. It's going to be a free kick. Zaraccio, he's been everywhere today. Romagnoli can deal with that one easily. Comes back out to Samasueco. Calabria, just get it clear. Pellegrini. He tries to flick it over him. He can't get to it. Benacer now stepping in with a good challenge. Colombo. Lorenzo. Just trying to shield it here. Oh, nicely done by Lorenzo Colombo. Going to find Ivan Pellegrini. Keep going, Olof. Don't stop. Show me the run, guys. Benacer. Salamakers. Colombo. Inside the box. Getting dispossessed. Getting a challenge. Concesiao. Just wide of goal for Lazio. Calabria. Salamakers. Go, Alexis. Look at the strength by Alexis. Look at the strength by Alexis. Colombo going to try to flick it on. There's Kessi. 3-1, boys. Salamakers. Comes here. Does so well there. Just showing good strength. The ball whipped in. Colombo with just the flick on for Kessi. And our number 10 gets himself the third goal of the match. Colombo, that was smart. Awareness. Just heads it back, tries to find anybody in the box. And it's going to be Kessie with a good strike in the top left, top right corner. And it's 3-1. Looking like we're going to win ourselves the Supercopa with our new third kit. And it's going to be thrown away by the goalkeeper. Vargas going down, but doesn't matter because Milan got to be winning another Supercopa here. 2025-2026 season gets off to a big, big start. Had to take it all the way to extra time. But Lofgren with his 100th. Ivan Pellegrini and Frank Kese and Gigio Donnarumma with his new goalkeeper kit. Milan with their new black third kit. Going to be lifting themselves some silverware once again. Just trying to continue to dominate, guys. But like I said, it's not going to be every season. We're just on such a good run of four. Maybe those... those like actual transfers of Dalo and Kabak could actually prove to be detrimental to Milan. Concesiao winning himself some silverware. That's going to be a big start to the season, guys. We're going to play the Super Cup and maybe just advance a couple of days, maybe even a Serie A match. Like I said, I'd like to get maybe every single kit in this video. And that actually brings me to something. I've been scouting Brazil, maybe looking for some regenerated players. Now, six seasons in, you never know. Maybe from some other teams, youth academies. I'm going to be looking there for now. I'm going to be maybe looking around. But what do you think we actually should sign ourselves here? And maybe what do you think or be open to letting some guys go from the side? Maybe you guys can let me know or just do something to maybe make it a little bit more realistic because like I said not everybody stays at the same club forever unless you're like guys like Paolo Maldini but like I don't know if there's that much loyalty in football anymore but Donnarumma has been maybe gonna stay and maybe which players do you think that we should maybe get rid of Zaniolo I'm really looking at I got him here he did what he can do and maybe looking for a new challenge I did two recovery days in a row let's fix up this lineup everybody once again on 50 sharpness Armini is is going to start let's go Stefano De Rosa and goal don't have to worry about his sharpness Teo Hernandez obviously has Paulo Valente he's back from his loan let's go Locatelli this time and we're also going to be starting with Kese and you know what let's go no you know what <laughs> I was thinking about maybe not starting Allen but he got those two assists we're gonna go lay out now on the left maybe could play him as a striker instead but we're gonna see exactly what happens here uh Salamakers had himself a very good game I'm gonna keep him there let's go Benacer on the bench no Tonali and from maybe the academy or we can even get Pierre Kalulu on the bench let's actually do that this is gonna be the lineup Armini De Rosa against Liverpool they have Timothy Way, Mane Salah so let's like, like you see, they, they pretty much have the exact same lineup here. And this one, we are going to be wearing our new home kit. There's Alessio with the armband. The new home kit, Stefano De Rosa, is actually only six foot tall. I think it really, really does look nice. The front, maybe the side, well, it like it's almost in the middle. But the back of the kit really, really does look nice. That's the reason I actually did it like that. I can always, obviously, tweak it if... Maybe it just looks out of place with that. I, I don't know if you see what I'm talking about, but in goal, they have absolutely no idea who. Virgil van Dijk now maybe pushing 35, 36 almost. Olof, Leao is going to start there. And we also do have Erling Haaland with the Scudetto patch. It just, it just looks complete. And to top it off with nine Champions Leagues. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's kick this match off. 
try to win ourselves some more silverware. But Liverpool, I know, is going to be a tough, tough game to play. And it actually really does look nice with the white numbers, the white shorts. Maybe could have went black, but like I said about the numbers, I think it looks good, guys. He's not going to get in behind Ivan Pellegrini. He's going to take it himself. Ivan with a bit of dribbling here, stepping inside. And then just runs out of room, waited way too long. Kessie outside the box, try to side foot this one, get some power behind it. But Kessie can't and then go sliding in. Locatelli now missing that. Wasted an attack, guys. Armini. Kessi. Lovgren. That's a great ball by Lovgren. Ivan Pellegrini. Didn't hit it well at all. Calabria on him. Nicely done, Calabria. And then, like, almost just smashes that ball off of his own face. Pellegrini getting into danger there. Armini. No nonsense clearance. Liverpool with another opportunity here right before halftime Calabria nice block by Davide Calabria end of the first half haven't been able to get anything it's been all Liverpool but we've defended well maybe need a change at halftime and the game just crashed fantastic it's okay because with the power of the cheat engine we could just jump into the second half right away that's that's what I keep saying when you're dealing with mods it's always best to save because that could have happened at any time it just obviously had to happen during the game but it could happen at any time so always make backups of your save no big deal second half just started the only thing the stamina of the players doesn't change but second half we're gonna start from here that's that's incredibly annoying <laughs> Armini Kessie is a great start Erling Holland is he there I don't know. I keep holding the L2 button and they go for bicycle kicks instead. Teo dispossessed and then going down. Hopefully not injured. Rafael Leao! Olaf! 1 0 Milan. Like I said, hopefully continuing to just score and score and score and score. And uh, I just love those new kits. Lovgren from Leao. Let's go, Leao. Come on, Leao. Playing on the left-hand side, maybe as a striker could do better, but then there's Lofgren and Erling Haaland. And we take the lead 1-0. First goal in the UEFA Super Cup for Lofgren. 101st goal for him. Trying to break 221. It's going to be a big injury. Brewster. Okay. <laughs> they started off with Timothy Way. Kessie going in for it. It didn't look like much, but apparently Brewster just, I guess, favoring his knee. And it looks like they're obviously going to have to take him off to bring on... I have absolutely no idea who that is. It says Ida. Maybe it's a young talent from Liverpool that I have absolutely no idea who it is. Robertson. Cross coming in. Romagnoli. Get this away. He just takes a touch instead. And Elliot with a shot straight into De Rosa. Looking like Teo, man. Picked himself up a big injury. Hasn't just shooken it off. That's a great ball. Rafael Leao now. Gonna spot Erling Haaland. One on one with the goalkeeper. A little bit. Okay. Puts it right through him. Who's that in goal? Is that Allison? That's very poor by the goalkeeper. And Haaland looked like he put no power on the shot. And it's 2 0. Maldini, it shows that he's not an actual left back right there. Romagnoli now. That's a header by Gravenbarch. Uh, they're just trying to force it right now. They really have had nothing. We've been playing so well. Leao, honestly, oh, tries to flick it over him. I was about to say he's having himself a game here and then tries to just be a little bit too fancy there. Elliot, keep the clean sheet for De Rosa. Maldini, not showing shades of Paolo. Definitely not. Gravenberch, we're doing so well to just close them down here as Romagnoli. It's going to be a corner, but maybe too little, too late for Liverpool as Robertson. Shouldn't they have a lot more players in there? That's terrible and Kessie how get this away guys I, that's the goal I concede that's the goal I concede I didn't want to clear it with square with Kessie because then he probably would have gotten a red and then he would have been gone for another European competition but as you can see in the stands the Milan fans are wearing the home kit they're wearing the away kit. And we get ourselves another piece of silverware here and honestly with 50% sharpness I'm, we're still playing well, but like sometimes the passes are not there. I, I'm excited to see how the season's going to actually go. Maybe there's going to be another title contender this season. Or maybe we can even break Juve's record of nine Scudettos in a row. There's Romagnoli with the captain's armband. Going to be lifting ourselves another UEFA Super Cup. 
as we pick up a 2-0 a 2-1 victory here I forgot that they scored in the final minutes let's go boys that's gonna end the episode but before we go I just want to show you how uh, Roma and Juve are actually looking with their kits as you can see they have the officially licensed Roma kit they have the goalkeeper kit if we take a look at Juve they also do have their kit and do they still have Cristiano Ronaldo on the team they actually do at 82 overall he's he's really up there with age and I don't know if it's the actual lettering okay it actually is they're gonna have their home kit their away kit their third kit their goalkeeper kit just trying to get you guys excited and who knows what do you think we actually need in this side maybe maybe think of things that we can get rid of some players or which players do you think should be going I think Zaniolo we're gonna actually open them up to some transfers but that's gonna be how this episode does end I hope you guys are excited for new kits and all that and the challenges and all that you guys have enjoyed you can't leave me like down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time